Problem number three. How many atoms of phosphorus are there in two grams of P4S10? So for this question, the first thing we're going to want to do is find the molecular weight of this guy, P4S10. So for that, we're going to use your periodic table, and you'll find 4 times 30.97 plus 10 times uh, 32.065 will give you a total molecular weight of 44 uh, 444.53 grams per mole. Okay, so we have to go from 2 grams of this stuff to the number of atoms of um, phosphorus, which is P. And fortunately, we can use just one dimensional analysis equation to get this. So we're starting with 2 grams of P4S10, correct? So now we can put this into moles using the uh, molecular weight that we just derived. So for every one mole of P4S10, we have um, 444.53 grams of it. Okay, so, so far the grams are going to cancel out. Um, the next thing, so we're trying to get to atoms of, is that right? Yeah, atoms of phosphorus. So we can, we can convert from this, from moles of P4S10 to moles of P. And you'll notice if you look at the molecular formula, you'll notice that for every, um, for every one mole of P4S10, we have four moles of P. So that'll cancel out with that. This is true because, yeah, just look at the molecular formula. Every time you have one P4S10, you get four P's from it. So you have four moles of P for every one mole of P4S10. Um, so we're up to moles of phosphorus. So can, how do we go from moles to atoms? We can use Avogadro's number. So we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of P per one mole of P. So once again the moles of P cancel out and we're going to be left with atoms of phosphorus. So we have 2 divided by 444.53 times 4 times Avogadro's number and you're going to get um, 1.1 times 10 to the 22 atoms of P. And this is answer choice 5 on your test.